I like that term, the birthday party express, because you feel like you're on a carousel you can't get off of. You're having parties for your ki kids, they're being invited to other kids' parties, and you wanna reciprocate. Jacqueline attends probably about four to five, maybe six birthday parties in a year. When it comes to reducing costs on birthday parties, uh, Regina and the girls are very good with crafts, and uh, they'll save money through making their own cards. How old is your turning? Nine. I really like making the cards and I get to put what I really want to say. It's a very delicate thing when it has when you put a monetary value on a gift. It can be stressful for kids if they are looking at what they're giving versus what they've received. We don't want it to be too expensive and we don't want it to be too inexpensive because then it's going to look really cheap. I have to admit there are some parties they go to where you feel you have to spend a little bit more. Some part of you says, oh, I wish I could have a big birthday party. That does cost a lot of money just spending it on people. We definitely have the conversations of, that's just too much. Collectively as a family, we put together the components to the loot bags. I think it's a lot more fun to make them ourselves than to go out and buy them. What do you think? Yeah. Do you think everyone's going to like their homemade bookmarks? I guess. Yes. They're going to love them. They're hosting Rachel's birthday party this year. She wanted to go bowling and she wanted to invite friends from school and her dance friends. So what we did was her friend, whose birthday's in the same month, who's in both her class at school and her dance group, we did a co combined birthday party. My dad had to make two cakes because it was for my sister and another friend. And it sounds inconsequential, but uh, it's not really. And you can save a, a considerable amount of money. And as well, uh, they tend to be better. I want my girls to feel that their birthdays are important events. Having a party at home isn't the same as going to the bowling alley. For my eighth birthday, I went to a trampolining place. There is that social pressure of keeping up with uh, the Joneses, so to speak, and uh, I think that I think that they don't feel that actually at this age, not as much as I do. What struck me the most in watching the Riley family save money by doing a more do-it-yourself approach was just how much more fun they're having together as a family. Mom was really honest when she said that she felt more pressure to keep up with the Joneses than her kids did. I don't know of a single mom who doesn't wish someone would get these over-the-top birthdays back in line. Why not lead the way? I would suggest she and her husband decide on a birthday budget for the girls, letting them know, we have $100 or whatever it is for your party, and you can spend it any way you like. You can afford a bowling party if you want to take a few of your friends, but if you want the entire dance class, you could go to the park for free and spend the money on cake and pizza or whatever else they might come up with that comes to a total of $100. If decorations are important to you, you can have them, but that means cutting something else from the budget. The girls are also learning about reciprocity of gifts. Not too expensive, not too cheap. There does seem to be a comfortable price point that makes everyone sort of feel at ease socially. But I've also seen it repeatedly that thoughtful gifts, meaningful gifts, are always received with tears of appreciation.